Hello, my name is Hong Tian Wang. I'm going to give an overview of the OpenSea extension supported by Qualcomm Adreno GPUs. This is for the iVoco 2022 post sessions. First, I'll give a quick introduction of the OpenSea extensions. Secondly, I will go over a few key extensions available on Qualcomm Adreno GPUs. Finally, give a quick summary of the talk. Here's a list of the references available. Uh, first one is the Adreno GPU SDK. Uh, it has all the code examples and the full documentation of the uh, extensions I'm going to talk. So if there's anything that you're not clear, uh, so please visit and download and visit to this link. And we also have the machine learning SDK that tells, uh, shows more examples of how to use the machine learning extension. And then we have a few blogs on how to uh, use the machine learning extension, uh, including how to do uh, training with the uh, extension. And then we also have the programming guide and uh, we have iWorko 2019 uh, poster that shows how to use the image processing operations on Adreno GPU. Finally, here's the OpenSeer official extension spec. OpenSeer extensions uh, is a mechanism to allow the OpenSeer uh, vendors to add a new functionality and innovate. So there are a few uh, different types of uh, extensions. First is the KHR extension, which requires multiple vendors to adopt and also require conformance test to pass. There's a, this EXT extension, uh, which is more uh, experimental or uh, working progress extension. Uh, this could become a KHR if proves to be useful. Finally, this is the vendor extension, uh, which is only available on the uh, vendor's OpenSeer platform. It's much less restrictive uh, and it could also become a, a KHR extension if uh, more vendors uh, uh, adopt, adopt it. Based on the scope and impact of the extensions, uh, we roughly can uh, classify them into a few categories, uh, large extension, kernel extensions and uh, OS software centric extensions. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the list on the right, here's the, all the extensions today available on the uh, Adreno uh, GPU SDK. The at large extension usually provide a comprehensive set of API functions, kind of functions to enable new use cases. Uh, for example, we have this machine learning extension or an image filtering extension, recordable queues, etc. Uh, we also have kernel extensions uh, that provide kernel functions to expose specific hardware capabilities. And finally, there's the OS and the software centric extension that uh, to provide new software or OS dependent features. For example, this zero, we have a zero copy extension for Android and uh, some security uh, uh, extension. Here's a caveat for using extensions. So first, uh, before using an extension, uh, it's a good practice to query its availability. Um, so there are two different places we, where you can uh, query. One is this platform extension function call CLGET platform info. And the other one is the CLGET device info. If you see a, if you see the extension string uh, is returned from either one of the functions, that means the extension is available. So in case the extension is not available, it could be uh, two situations. One is that it uh, become uh, it has been adopted into the call spec, for example, from KHR to call spec 
or from a wonder extension to KHR, etc. Or uh, the other possibility is the extension may be deprecated or even defeatured uh, by the uh, vendor. For better compatibility or portability, it's always good to uh, use KHR or even call spec instead of vendor extension if they provide similar functionalities. Let's go to the Qualcomm extensions uh, for machine learning. So we have this CR Qualcomm ML Ops. Uh, the objective of this uh, extension is to provide a set of API functions and the mechanism to accelerate common machine learning operations on Adreno GPUs for both inference and training. The key feature of this extension include that we support most common ML operations. The memory allocation of tensors is separated from its creation, which could is to minimize the memory requirement. This extension works with uh, the standard OpenSeer features, such as command queue and events. It can share resources and synchronize with standard OpenSeer kernels. In addition, a tool is also provided to convert from the TensorFlow model to the one that can be supported by this extension. The advantage of this extension includes that the operation has a fully optimized kernel, which developers don't have to write their own kernels. So these kernels are optimized by the Andrino OpenSeer experts. And this extension support uh, inference and training. Uh, to get more details, uh, you can find the example and document in the SDK, uh, machine learning SDK. So here's a list of common ML operations that are being supported in the extension. For example, we support convolution, activation, different activation functions, pooling, uh, gem, transpose, and bunch of binary operations, concatenation layers, depths to space operations, and so on. More operations will be added in future releases. On the right side, here's a diagram of the steps to use the machine learning uh, extension. For more details, again, please to uh, please refer to the blog and the SDT, SDK document. Second, let's go to the image processing functions. Uh, Qualcomm has this CL Qualcomm Accelerated Image Ops uh, extension. It introduces a set of OpenCRC built-in functions for a number of image uh, imaging operations, for example, uh, convolution, uh, including separable and non-separable box filtering, SAD, SSD for block matching. It defines uh, procedures and data structures for creating image and data objects, which can are required by the, these built-ins. It has demonstrated good performance and power benefits. For example, with this extension, 15 by one Gaussian blur uh, achieves up to 2.8x uh, gain over the regular one. We have a poster published in 2019 on Voco. Uh, it shows a, a more detailed description of the extension and uh, examples and uh, performance uh, use cases and its performance. If you need more details, uh, please contact me about this poster. In addition, we also have this uh, uh, CL Qualcomm filter by Cubic. So with this extension, when this filter mode is uh, uh, enabled, a four by four square of image elements for the 2D and the weight of each pixel are uh, determined based on coordinates and the relative uh, location in the image. Uh, so the sampler uh, can be either passed to uh, as kernel argument or specified inside the kernel uh, like a regular uh, sampler. For details how to use this uh, uh, 
by cubic extension. Please refer the full documentation. In addition, we have a bunch of uh, extended image function support uh, uh, extensions. Uh, for example, we have the CL Qualcomm other image. Uh, this is a, a extension that can be used to read and write non-conventional OpenCL images. For example, YUV NV12 image, MIP packed image, beta, beta format pattern uh, image, and tiled image. We also have uh, this CL Qualcomm compressed image, uh, which is uh, to enable an app to read and write OpenCL image objects uh, holding compressed data, image data. We also have some uh, uh, operate uh, functions, kernel functions that allows reading and writing a group of OpenCL image elements in a single single operation. For example, you can read the Y component, uh, the R component of multiple uh, pixels in one function. All these uh, functions, buildings offered performance gain as well as uh, ease of development. We also have this CL Qualcomm recordable queue uh, extension. So this extension introduced a new set of procedures for recording sequences of kernel in queues. So basically you can record a sequence of the kernel dispatch and then use it multiple times. Uh, so the any argument to any kernel in this recordable queue can be modified without having to re-record the entire command sequence. This offer this extension offers advantages for the application where you have a uh, repetitive uh, dispatch of same uh, operations. For example, if you are doing like a network machine learning, uh, running machine learning network for every video frame, uh, this with this extension, you will be able to see a lot of the software overhead of dispatching these kernels. You see the ML extension is actually using this, uh, this one to reduce the incurring overhead. We also have a, a extension called CL Qualcomm Require Subgroup Size. So this uh, Andrino GPU typically uh, supports two different subgroup sizes, half wave size, full wave size. So a kernel can run uh, at either mode. Uh, with different performance. Typically, uh, our compiler can automatically decide which mode works the best. Uh, so typically, again, half wave uh, works better for kernels with more 16-bit EU operations. Uh, with this extension, we will be able to uh, override the default one. Sometimes the compiler has hard time figuring out the optimal one, so it's not always uh, possible for to use the uh, default one. Uh, developer can use this extension to override the default one to try which one works the uh, works better. We also have a few extensions that provide the performance uh, or priority hint. For example, we have the CL Qualcomm Puff hint. Uh, extension. Basically, uh, when you create a uh, context, you can specify this feature, this uh, performance uh, hint, uh, whether you want a high, normal, or low. By default, it is high performance. You can also set the performance hint by calling this function. We also have one called CL Qualcomm Priority Hint. This extension allows app to specify the desired priority for encoded kernel to be submitted to the device on a open context. There's three 
levels of priorities high, normal, and no by default is set to normal. Here is the example how to use it. We also have a bunch of extensions uh, which provide a software or OS dependent features. Uh, for example, we have we have extension like Ion host PTR, Android native buffer host PTR, uh, Android A hardware buffer host PTR. These uh, extensions are for zero copies. And we also have security uh, uh, extension like uh, this uh, Sierra Qualcomm extend host. Uh, sorry, Sierra Qualcomm protected context. Here's a summary of the talk. So due to the time limit, I can't really go to the details of the uh, extension, but in, the, in our Adreno OpenCR SDK, we have provided all the detailed documentation and the code examples. And uh, if you are interested in any of them, feel free to check the documentation and the code example. Uh, some of the extensions, may have key jar versions very soon. For example, this recordable command queue. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedbacks, feel free to contact uh, us. Uh, thank you. That concludes my talk.